Hi everyone. All right, today's video is going to be over conversion of units. Your objective, I will be able to convert between units to solve problems. So conversion is just a change in the units that are used to measure something, but the amount that is there does not change. For example, if you had a piece of string that was one foot long, that piece of string we could say is 12 inches long. It's still the same amount of string, but we are using two different types of units to identify the measurement. Now, there are two types of measurement systems. The customary is what we are used to seeing here in the United States. Um, examples of that would be like feet, pounds, and gallons. The metric system is used pretty much everywhere else in the world. And you've probably heard of units like meters, grams, and liters. And you've probably already used these in your science classes. Now, for the two measurement systems, there are basic units that we use to measure things. Uh, so we're usually identifying length, mass, or volume. So those are the main things we're going to be talking about. Now, whenever we want to convert from one unit to another, the first thing we want to do is actually identify the units. And then we want to check the star chart. So you may not have a star chart with you. And that's just the chart that you see at the beginning of your star test and at the beginning of your curriculum assessments. If you don't have one, that's okay because I will be giving you the conversions. Once you come to class, we will have a class set of star charts and you will be able to check that to get your conversions. So once we've identified the units, we will set up a ratio of those units. We will use that to set up a proportion and then we will cross multiply and solve. All right, so example one, five kilograms equals how many grams? So I'm gonna make a variable for this problem. Since we are looking for the number of grams, I'm gonna make our variable G. Now for the ratio of units, I just want to put one of these units on top and the other on the bottom. So I'm gonna put kilograms on top and grams on the bottom. If you wanna do it the other way around, that is okay. You just have to make sure that your units match up along the top and they match up along the bottom. Now, if you were to look at your star chart, it would tell you that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And I'm gonna use this information to set up the first ratio of our proportion. So one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. And then I am going to take the information that we have been given to fill in the next ratio. So they gave us five kilograms. So five would go on the top and grams is missing. So I'm going to represent that with a G on the bottom. Now we are going to cross multiply. So here we have one times the letter G and that would simply just be G. And here, we have 1,000 times five, that would be 5,000. So when I write this out, that means that G equals 5,000. Now in this type of problem, it's pretty simple. The variable is already isolated. There's nothing for us to solve. So our answer would be 5,000 grams. All right, example two, how many feet equal 33 inches? So since we're trying to find the number of feet, I am gonna use F as the variable. And my ratio of units, I'm going to set up as feet to inches. If you look at your star chart, star chart, you would see that one foot equals 12 inches. So I'm gonna use that to set up the first ratio. So one foot is 12 inches. So for the second ratio, I'm gonna look at the information given. We do not know the number of feet, so I'm gonna represent that with the letter F on the top. And they gave us 33 inches, so I will put a 33 on the bottom. And now we're just gonna cross multiply. So here we have one times 33 and that would be 33. 
On this side, we have 12 times f, and we would write that just as 12f. So now we have a variable and a coefficient. So whenever I write this out, that's gonna be 33 equals 12f. All right, so now that the variable is not isolated, I have to use inverse operations. So the inverse of multiplying by 12 would be to divide by 12. We know that 12 divided by 12 is one, so we are literally left with one letter F. And then 33 divided by 12, I am going to work out over here. 12 goes into 33 two times, which is 24. And that would have a difference of nine. I'm gonna add a decimal and a zero to keep going. Decimal goes up, zero goes down. 12 will go into 90 seven times, which is 84. And 90 minus 84 is six. I'm gonna add another zero. And 12 would go into 60 five times with a remainder of zero. So 33 divided by 12 is 2.75. So that means that 33 inches would be 2.75 feet. All right, now it is time for you to try, figure out how many pounds are in 6.4 tons. And if you do not have your star chart, write this down, one ton equals 2,000 pounds. All right, make sure you show all of your work and all of your steps and bring these notes to class with you and we will see you next class day.